So that's the future. Y'all know I love talking about the future for this divine feminine. Okay? Okay? Because she hasn't even shown up. Okay? So what is to the left? Okay? We still have our card here. That's to the future. So what, let's see. Yeah, this is this is annoying. And she hasn't even showed up. And everything is about her. She's the center of all of this. Concern. Concern. So we're going to read this from the main male to the left. I got to take these off because they're starting to make me have a headache. That always happens when it starts pushing on my ear back. I don't know what, the, what that be about. But do it every time. Every time. And it's so damn annoying. Okay, y'all. Here's my boo. So we go into the main male. Because both of them want to be the main male. Both, both of them want to be, you know, the apple of her eye. Her lover. But one of them definitely ain't no friend. He's not a provider. He's not a protective. This one down here don't have much energy. The younger man down to the bottom. Let me show y'all what I'm looking at so far. Okay. So this younger man down to the bottom. This page of pentacles energy. Page of wands, page of pentacles energy. Okay. A page. That means it's young energy down here. All right. This is at the infantile stage, I feel. But this person, because, you know, behind the scenes, the Six of Cups kept coming out as I was asking Spirit to guide me to show me a, a, a jump off energy of this next gentleman's club psychic intuitive counsel session. So this is the younger man. This is the old school. This is this is the this is the past. OK, this is her past. But it's still in her current view. Remember, we said it felt like these two men were mirroring each other. Both of them are in love with this woman in the picture. She's a constant picture on the wall. That means that she's constantly in their thoughts. See? Okay? Right? And so now we're going to see what's to the left of her. All right? Her future concerns. Okay, guys? All right, so let's get to it. Mm, mm, mm. All right, so the future is 33 from the main male. Murky thoughts, a negative mood, loss and fear, drama queen, negative thinking. See? See? The masculine up there, and he plays victim all the time. Let's keep going. What's in the future? What's in the future? Expectation. Expectation. The, the uh, main male is patient and has strong desires. The next card will say what kind of expectation he has. So he ain't giving up easily. He not trying to let this woman go easily. Without a very brutal spiritual fight. Because she's fighting for her life. Literally. Like her livelihood. The I'm telling you I felt the courthouse was going to come out. I felt this courthouse was going to come out, child. This is spiritual court. And judgment has already been called on this toxic masculine. This, 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 this toxic husband because he feels like she's mine so understand that when i use certain words it's just to indicate the strength of what is on this main man's mind about this woman okay hmm 23 a final decision justice will triumph official matter will be regulated exactly what i said thank you kipper 
gratitude to Kipper for confirming that it is over with. Twenty nine, a community of people. This woman has a community of people. You see this here? Goddess. She has a community of people by her side. God. Guidance over deception is by her side. This person has been judged. This, this masculine up at the top has been judged. He is not her God sent companion. Okay? She has a community of people. This verdict is going to go in her favor, but he just refuses to stop the bullshit. Show me, spirit. By the way, the book does not go up to 39. I just know what that card means. It can be it can be like gang stalking and negative community or, or a group of people, depending on where it's placed. But in this position, it is a community, companions, goddess, judge, avengers. Okay? Woo! Woo! Oh, my, 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 my. Every time I see this card, in fact, it has 777. That's the trinity, baby. This is letting it be known. This is the type of folk on her side. 1212. I literally almost started this this particular picks at 12 12 because I was looking at the clock and I was doing some cards and I the spirit said, okay, get started. It was 12 12 when I looked at the clock. Look at that. Look at that. Sudden wealth. Sudden wealth. Yes. This man knows you're going to miss my loving. This woman is a gold mine. This woman has sacred womb, a sacred womb. Her sexuality is 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 oh whoa okay so so it's understood but he must overstand that it's over okay like what it's time it's over with 11 it says financial stability money money coming in for this woman wealth and abundance luxury he knows that she man let me tell you something with or without this other man this woman is stepping into spiritual inheritance of material abundance here on this earthly plane of existence. This masculine knows this. He may have been going to some type of a, um, you know, some type of a spiritual guide to, to, to tell him about the woman and what she's doing. He's using spirituality to keep a, evil eye on this divine feminine and the most high saying that no this connection you're not going to beat her down no more because of love that she gave you that you did not know how to reciprocate or to appreciate and to protect and honor so you no longer have any authority emperor in reverse you have no you no longer have any fucking authority over her over her divine sexual creativity her divine uh, um you know how she creates how, you just it's over it's just over dude it's just fucking over like i don't know what else to say to you that it's fucking over and i'm just i got a headache y'all because i'm aggravated But it's great to see what's going to happen for this woman. And she don't even, I feel like by her not showing up yet in the spread, it's because she's being hidden. I feel like this divine feminine, this main female number one, is not showing up yet because she's being hidden. She's being prepared, unbeknownst to her, of this massive wealth. It's beautiful, guys. It's beautiful. Yes, indeed. Praise. Way, 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 way up. Praises better go way up. Huh? Praise be. Yes, indeed. You don't, don't tell me. Don't tell me. Don't tell me what my spirit team won't show me. And I will be very exclamatory in letting the collective consciousness know. Okay? She don't have to be with this man at the bottom, this younger energy. You know, she don't have to be with him. She still is the great. 
Okay, she still is the great. Can everybody say it together? The great divine feminine, right? Honor the divine feminine, okay? When you love and took care of your mother and honored her, and then she got up in old age or whatever like that, baby, that's one thing about the Bible that I definitely do believe and, re and, and receive it as the truth is to th that your days will be made long when you honor and obey thy mother and thy father. Okay? Yes, it's, it's, it's that ultimate respect that you, you know, you really hold in great reverence the very sacred womb in which you have come through. You understand? Come on. Come on. Come on. All the divine masters, give a hand. Let's give a hand to the great mother. Okay? Let's give a let's give a hand to the great grandmothers. Okay? The great aunties. Huh? God mamas. Come on. Raise the divine feminine up. Yes. I oh I'm loving it. Let's keep going, spirit. This wealth is coming in. She she can expect it. She can expect it. This is beautiful. Okay, so that's what's coming in her future. Spirit, go ahead and show me. Show me this divine uh, 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 feminine's justice on this toxic masculine that don't want to let her go. That he feels like you are my wife. You you are my husband. You understand what I'm saying? This literally is like the devil is literally saying that this woman belongs to her. I mean, to him. It could be to her. It could be some type of Jezebel spirit on this masculine up here. Some kind of succubus spirit. Some going on. So let's see what does this masculine have to look forward to for crossing this divine feminine. This main, this main female, the one that has someone else that's on her mind that she love and misses or, you know, wish that she had an opportunity to see how that was supposed to go. Okay. And this, the masculine at the top, he trying to just always rule over every aspect of her life. Like this is a toxic ass emperor energy in reverse. That's what this is. Show me spirit. Show me what does this toxic man at the top of this tower here can expect to come. His way. Judgment is here, baby. And we are moving into this plutonium energy too. Guys, stay tuned. I will be getting together a, a video about the Pluto and Aquarius that we are embarking upon. All right. And I would like to highlight how it will affect Aquariuses with very strong placements in their chart. Now, I'm not an astrologer. I don't claim to be. But whatever spirit guides me to discuss in regards to any um, uh, um, teaching. Uh, see that though? That's crazy how that went. But if we're going to take all them three over there and the one on my thumb. Then I'll just do what I'm guided. Okay. To do in the video about the Pluto in Aquarius. All right. Stay tuned for that. The one on my thumb is false person. False person is the first one out. So for this, this divine feminine, she can rest assured. Look, marriage is at the bottom of the deck. She can rest assured that this, this, this toxic ass masculine energy is being radically uh, uh, obliterated from her life. So now we're going to be still reading from the main male, the past, number eight. Away from the enemy. So this divine feminine should know that being away from this enemy, this enemy, this rival, this cunning, dangerous person from her past. And like I said, I really, because that six of cups kept on coming out. When I was just doing my, you know, meditation and like really like getting a real strong, you know, connection of what it was, the song that kept coming in, you're going to miss my loving. And I really feel like Six of Cups is showing that this masculine energy that's in her life currently is from a past life too. 
What's the other card? Expectation. Patience is over. The main male has met a middle-aged woman. Patience is over. So anyway, y'all excuse these noises, okay? I always doing that when I'm on my videos when it's very potent. So the main male is not realizing that this shit is over with, right? So now he's literally trying to really come in like he want to meet her, meet her in the middle. Like he want to... He want to try to level with her. Like, you know, okay, let's talk about it. She not feeling that shit. When it says here that this is a middle-aged woman, this is showing that this woman is at this precipice of her maturity in age, wisdom, and all that and through, through her age and her experience. All of this has been culminated into divine wisdom so it's nothing that this ex toxic ass six of cups from her past can say to convince her to trust anything he got to say it's a wrap the divine has called it the ancestors have called it it is over okay what we got house <laughs> He's expecting to get into her house or watching her house some kind of way. Maybe energetically. Mm -hmm, yo, yeah, this magic shit, this shit is real. They can, this shit can be done. Okay, so 20. The past. Selling a property, the main male leaves the safety of his walls. Yeah. The main male leaves the safety of his walls. Wasn't I talking about that sacred womb? He left the safety of her sacred womb and went out philandering about. You know, and in this particular psychic intuitive counsel session, this man, main, male, main male has zero remorse. See, the one before, they on their way. This one has zero remorse. This one is still tempting the hand of God over this woman's life to knock his ass into a whole nother dimension. Okay? Woo! <laughs> O-M-G. Let me tell you something. I can see my cards before they come out. I literally thought this was the one that was going to be on the top of my hand. But I can literally see my cards before they pop out. This man is being sent to the void. This man is being casted down into the very dark pits of the hell he tried to build. Secure walls for this woman. Mm, mm, mm. Baby. Whew. The past in 29 says restrictions are over. End of a standstill and stagnation. He can no longer restrict her movement. The very prison he tried to concoct for her, construct for her, is now all around him. Oh, we, 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 and the reason for my treatments, guys, that I write up is so. Therefore, when these energies keep repeating themselves, I can go and look at to see what's the differences. Because when you tap into this karmic shit, right, a lot of us are going through these same types of karmic lessons in self love, self improvement self evolution and they'll be repeating this is why I don't like to watch other tarot channels because they just be repeating the same shit and it's so fucking annoying especially black female tarot, re tarot readers okay nah I ain't trying to do that up for her 
Okay? Uh-uh, not in the gentleman's club. I'm very serious about this. <laughs>